I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that breaks, and I bet I've had way more fun than you. So, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Bissoff Plays Minecraft. I am Bissoff, and this is me as I play Minecraft on the Minecat server. I will be streaming on Twitch Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, a little early today. Search for Bissoff Plays or click that link in the description below the video. If you have a moment, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you're up to it, give a like or dislike on this video. And if you're feeling really, really adventurous, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and or Facebook. Or all of them. Or none of them. Eh. Either way, we'll find out. So let's see if we can get the tablet doing what it's supposed to do today. Nope, tablet's fighting me. I think I got Twitch monitored. Come on, tablet. Help me out here. Pretend you care. There we go. Yeah, it must be working because it's having one heck of a time doing anything else Twitter let me see if I can close all this crap on the twitch app is updating that's why so let's just see what we can get going here so Last couple days, no one's been around. Uh, apparently, Tess is on vacation, or she's doing exams, or doesn't feel like streaming. So that's fine. I'm here by myself. I didn't stream the other day because I was busy screwing around in my garage. And today, I'm just messing around, having fun, complaining the whole love stream. Says Daisy Doggy. Yeah, that's. That's good English and you got going there. Let me see if I can just take down my tablet. Yeah, because it's not working anyway, so we won't worry about that. So, let's see what we got to do today. I got really nothing to do. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. There we go. So, let's see. Haven't really hung out in the, the Ventus Arena for a while, which is strange. We used to hang out here all the time, but haven't done anything for a while. But since the library got built, I, Daisy Doggy, just ran past Daisy. The library's been kind of the new hub. Still looking for uh, donations of ink sacks and maybe a few, uh, what do they call it? pieces of leather now and then got plenty of paper and feathers haven't been too bad so we able to keep up on books let's see we got one whole section of fan fiction completely filled up let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirty six books on this section here starting to fill up the second section so we've got thirty eight fan figs and we got eh, a lot less uh, server related books so if you got any server related books you want to write you know how to make banners how to do redstone how to do pretty much anything that has to do with gameplay rules uh, mechanics of the game anything like that we're fine uh, let's see we got this area here we're for children and dogs and other pets just drop off your useless children here be sure to take them home with you when you leave because I'm the kind of guy that will just dig a hole to bedrock and leave your pets down there because that's how I am let's see let's go down and say hi to Marcus Oop, there we go oh see if Daisy wants to come downstairs because she she dies Oh, well, we want to go in the staff area. But, okay, we'll go down by ourselves. So, hi, Marcus. Yes, Marcus is named after Notch. As you see his name, Marcus. 
he's not named for Notch. He just I just used his name because I needed a name. Let's see, War Potato. We gotta figure that out for little Nalu. Let's see, you gotta put all this junk where it belongs. Do, 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 do. One second. Okay, I'm back already. And throw that in there. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Got a full line of paper. We need some more ink sacks and leather and feathers. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Got a bunch of signs for the books themselves. How you doing, Marcus? How's that? How are you and your snowball doing? And as you can see, my computer turned into a skeleton skull. That's okay. I didn't use it anyway. So let's go back up here. I don't know if that was Daisy Doggy running around or if she's she's. Oh, there's little Nalu. Hi. Say hi to Daisy. So, what are we gonna do? Oh, oh. Yesterday I didn't live stream, so I was making a rocking chair for my granddaughter because my granddaughter beats games and live streaming any day of the week because she is awesome. Eh, I call her Daisy already. Okay, Daisy already. Daisy already. Ah, ha, ha. So yeah, my daughter, granddaughter is everything. Get to, she gets to have all the fun she wants. I don't get it. Who's this Daisy thing? Okay, well, whatever. Let's run over to the house. I gotta feed some cows. And I need to do some other things today. I might run to the nether check out a few things there but I probably won't do that on stream because the stream kind of lags me and I definitely don't want to be in another while I'm lagging I'm doing pretty good in the, the trading area I've got almost two lines of emeralds saved up here for trading for enchanted books this guy gives away good books So, I get about 10 every time I trade with him. So, I'm filling up a chest full of those mending books. None of the other books are really I need right now. Let's see, Silk Touch, Thorns. Oh, excuse me. I might get some of the Thorns 2 books. I like to get a bunch more armor with Thorns on it. Yeah. That's another mending book. Let's see what we got down here. Smite. Is that actually Smite 5? I wonder if it really is Smite 5. I think it is. Yeah, it is a Smite 5 book. Uh, let's see. He doesn't give anything good, really. Nothing. Silk Touch. Frost Walker. Smite. Frost Walker. Emerald, emerald, emerald. Oh, thorns too. Feather, mending, punch too. Mm, projectile, infinity, flame. Yeah, I really don't trade with any of these villagers at all, but the one who trades that really cheap mending book. All the rest I just let go. Usually, what I trade with, I trade my rotten flesh to them. I hang this sign up here. Excuse me. Oh. Every once in a while, they'll, they'll refuse to trade with me anymore. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to trade them an emerald for certain things, like one emerald for whatever redstone they offer, and then I usually jumpstart his trade. Other ones need lapis or glowstone. But once they stop taking uh, rotten flesh I just get rid of them and replace them with another one 
So I still got to replace two down here. One, two. Anything with a torch in it needs to be replaced. I think I got two down here I got to replace. So I, oh, excuse me. Oh. Sorry. I am really tired. I've been doing a lot of work in my garage. Oh. Making that rocking chair has been a lot of work. There's little Nelu hiding in the hiding in the sugar cane like we used to hide in the cornfields when we were kids. Don't do that if you're near a farm. You see cornfields. Do not hide in cornfields. You can get lost. Oh, me. I am sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning. Oh, I did like six loads of laundry today. Tired. Worked in the garage. Cleaned the garage. Carried a bunch of heavy stuff. It was a lot of work. It tired me out quite a bit. Got quite a bit of stuff to do. I still we still have the uh, warp time for fun that we need to work on, or I, I guess I need to work on. I got to figure out what to do with the rest of that area. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. It must just be completely worn out but warp time for fun that's where we had Tess's birthday killy party day uh, still got the the uh, parkour course there the parkour course has been updated and changed so it's no longer killy killy matter of fact let's take a run to warp time for fun So let's go to warp time for fun. All I gotta do is type in time and it goes straight to it. Ah. So here we are. There's warp time for fun. We got the parkour set up still. But now instead of lava, you fall into water, so it's not as dangerous. But if you do fall, you end up down here. And it's just a nice quiet little area down here. There might be a zombie or two down here, don't know. And you just got to find your way back up to that ladder to climb out. So. Yeah. Oops, fell. That's okay. I'm going to cheat. Guess I can't cheat. I did cheat. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to cheat big time. Slash J. Back up out of here. And this will get you back to where you started pretty much. And you have to keep going. I'm going to go up to the roof. Up here you see. That's the rest of the parkour course. So you just move down here. Instead of chess being at every end of every stage. You just says a sign stage 1, 2, 3. Until you get to the end. When you get to the end, I've actually got a prize section set up. So if you go to the, make it all the way to the end. Things are still full of arrows. You make it all the way to the end. Click up all these arrows. Okay. Go all the way to the end. 
get over the water. Nope, oh, here comes Daisy. And that throws you down there and gives you a prize. <laughs> See, and you get a crappy prize. You come down here, and I got cobblestone stairs or an oak fence. Got to change the price here. <laughs> just whatever junk I had on me at the time, I threw in here. So I gotta get that arrow out of there. So I'm gonna get shot with that arrow. But yeah, I just put in whatever I had on me at the time. So that's why there's nothing good there. But I will be updating the prizes one of these days when I get a chance. I've just been too lazy to do it, and I actually forgot this area was here anymore. I just forgot it was here. Let's go out here, everybody. So I don't even know what's in these chests. Oh, just junk anymore. Pretty much just junk. Oh, there's that packed ice she needed earlier. But this is the area. I want to build something going off in each of the four directions. That way, that way, that way, and have four something else going on out here but just can't figure out what to do so if you got any ideas of what to do with this area you know we got the parkour course let's you if you want to build another parkour course you know I can have it go this direction from this one you know I, I just put a hole in that to go this direction same with going that way and that way if you're interested in doing something like that just let me know I'll give you permission in this area so that you can build something I wouldn't mind having this whole area to set up just for fun stuff I don't know but this is what we're doing here Nelu spawner. Okay. There must be one down on the water. I thought I went through these caves, but I guess I haven't. I did through some of these caves. Not many of them. Oop. Yay! Oh. Let's see what's going on here. 
What the heck, crappy prizes. I didn't see anybody die. She shouldn't have died there. Unless she was on fire. She went down the hole, but she shouldn't have died there. Whatever. Let's go see what I can see what she's talking about. Just out of arrows. <laughs> so, do 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 do. Is she taking all the arrow damage? I wouldn't. Whatever. She's kind of weird. I'm going to jump down this hole. Oop. And get myself another piece of coal. Yes. Piece of coal. I'll put this record in here. i put those in there. And let's see. Warp. Tam. Tab. Get me out of there. I had to close that gate. Can't let everybody out of the gate. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. So, oh, I just saw an arrow go in front of my face. Did you guys see that? Eh, might have been a glitch. Could have sworn an arrow just went right past my face, but eh, who knows. So we got to come down here. And eventually, go down here. And this is where I could change the prizes out. Go down here. I can fill this chest up full of prizes. And they'll go down into that. Never got around to it. Girls, oh, I'm dying. Well, you spent half an hour getting shot by arrows. That'll get you killed. So let's go back this way. See if we can meet her at the beginning. I don't know where little Nalu went. Where you at, Daisy? I got you some food. See, I'm a nice guy. Got you some food. Let's see, you got put those in there. Don't know what to do next. I'm kind of bored. So I think I'm going to run back to the house. I still have a huge map project I've got to do. I need to figure out what I want to do on the map. I've got the area all done up. All I need to do now is figure out what I want to draw on the map or do on the map. So 
So now I gotta figure out what to do next. So the map is 127 by 127. So if anybody's got any ideas what I should do on my map, let me know. Just send me a message or maybe we can get together somehow and get a picture transfer between the one of us or the other. Nothing too intricate, you know, I, I gotta make this map and there's 16,000 blo possible blocks to be placed on this map. If you got an idea for a map, let me know. If not, I'll just do that. But I think I'm gonna sign off for now. I'm kind of getting my nose is getting stuffed up and feeling all bad. Got the windows open. I think allergies are starting to hit me, so I'm having trouble breathing. So I'm gonna sign out. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna turn on my tablet and read my outro because I should have it memorized by now. But uh, I just don't feel like memorizing anything. So that's it for this episode. I'll be doing my best to get a video out every day at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. And once again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you up to it, give a like or just like on this video. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And check out this video tomorrow at 3 p.m. on YouTube. And as always, later Minecraft Freaks.